All right, testing out the new camera phone. We got to talk about this. I've been annoying with you guys up and loading gameplay, but that's the way I am when I start playing something. I just upload it anyways. And uh, I don't know how to... Uh, I don't know how to explain that I am addicted to this game. I'm 25 hours in. It is 40 hours total to finish. I just saw some gameplay somewhere else. It looks boring when you look at the gameplay for some people. But to me, it attracted me. It had that old school dungeon crawler from back in the days like 1993, 94. And to me, I'm going to say it right off the bat, it's a, it's a masterpiece. Yes, I did pay 20 bucks for it, but if it go back to full price and experience what I experienced with this game, I would still pay it full price. I don't know how to describe it. There is some flaws. There is some really bad bugs. I don't know why Arxis, Arxis didn't fix their stuff before I go further in. Sometimes the, char the character you created, uh, eventually you're in a fight. I just want to start with that. That's the only negative point. It's pretty bad. Uh, your character freeze and doesn't attack and doesn't do anything. And I checked all over Reddit and everything. I didn't know what to do. I figured out by myself, you go back to the village or tent camp where you are at. And you change the class of your character. Change the whole character. But you can still keep your levels. So anyways, let's go back. Let's go back. Rewind a bit. That's the only part that was negative. The story is just so dark and cruel and just so insane. You have to collect, can I say sins? Or like their inner darker souls of monsters you have to fight. First and foremost, you're in back in 1979. Is it Tokyo, Japan? I can't remember. And this crazy just labyrinth just appeared there. And... In those days, they hired miners to go in, and inside that place, there is stuff they can make money off, a lot of money. You could get rich fast when you're working there, but is, there's a risk. There's a bunch of monsters in there, and they eat people, and they decapitate the people, and it's, it's, it's very gory. You don't see much, but you see enough. The story is very original, very grasping. There's no voice acting. It's very basic, very basic. No super insane graphics, no super insane scenery or cutscenes. It's very text, image, text, but it's, it's so good. I, I, I can't put it down. I can't put it down. I want to finish it, even though there's a lot of games coming in. I don't care. I'm going to finish this, and then I'll go for the rest. But this one, I can't put it down. And then, whatever class character, make sure you, whatever you do, if you do buy this game, you can build i think 16 characters i think in your main camp that you always go back to eventually you have portals you can teleport to because you do get lost in the labyrinth uh, so many times it's just insane it is whatever you explore it appears on the map wherever you walk the map is very well defined it's there you can fast travel all you want you can get lost and sometimes you have to fight some insane tough bosses and I'm actually stuck at one right now that is guarding the gates of hell with some demonic childs that been buried there and they're guarding it. And it's, it's very, very dark, but so much fun. I, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, so I was saying, make a cleric. Make a healing character in your gang. Just make sure you make a healing character because you have so many different character types and all the character types you pick have different moves, different attacks. Upgrading is not that hard. Whatever weapons you pick up on armor, eventually you have that fusion chamber at your main camp where you can upgrade easily all your stuff. The only thing that's bad about this game also is you don't have a revive uh, energy. Like you don't have a revive power off your cleric, like your healing character. You can't get that. I imagine eventually you can, but kind of disappointed in that. Because when your character dies, it costs AG. And the deeper and deeper you go into the game, if your character dies, it gets very, very pricey to revive your character. And 
somehow you have to extract all the items, whatever fights you got, and items you don't want. You can just disassemble and trade it for money. AG, it's called. And then you have to be very careful because you have that other power where you have to create those special flowers because throughout the whole maze, uh, you got flowers that could create doors. When you go and walk into a door, it shines blue and all this place, you could do a door. Or whatever, you have a hole or you have a ladder hanging broken, you could do a ladder flower. Like eventually, deeper and deeper in the game, now I'm at, at healing flowers that I can post anywhere to heal my characters once. And it cancels out all the traps throughout the maze. So it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So you got to be careful. Whenever you extract the stuff you don't want to have, you got the AG, basically money, and the flower, extract flower power to create more flowers, like to create ladders and doors and stuff to get through. The maze is just insane. It is a maze. And eventually, before you get to the boss battles, you have always, throughout the maze, you have those kind of puzzly questions. You have to be careful. It's kind of tough. And uh, that's it. There's not many walkthroughs on YouTube. There's not many hints. There's, you really, I'm trying to do it as, that's that's why I'm doing it. I want to finish the whole thing so people know where to go and what to do. It's been hard. It's been hard, but it's a good RPG dungeon crawler. Like back in the days, back in the days. Yeah, create magical doors, ladders, and bridges to escape. I have yet to unlock the bridge. I have yet to unlock the bridge, flower power. But yeah, I'm stuck at a boss battle. And it's killing my whole crew. And even the battle system is just so much fun. I don't know. I don't know. When you look at it, the gameplay, it's going to look like crap to you guys. But once you play it, you get hooked. And you can't stop playing. The, the only way I'm going to put this game down is if I complete it. I usually complete my games, but this one, I thoroughly want to finish it. So it's got to be must buy, must own for any actual dungeon crawler fans. It's very nostalgia, back graphics, gameplay and everything from back in the days. And it just goes to show that we don't need all that super graphics and super storyline and super like cutscenes and everything. You know, the basic of video games from back in the days is still good. I hope they make a part two, three or whatever. 40 hours is a lot. But man, those boss battles are impossible. I'm stuck at one. It's so long. I read it four or five times and once I get it, I'll upload it and that's it. So like always, send some love, hit that thumbs up, support the channel. Thank you so much for all the support, everybody watching throughout the years. It is some hard days these days. I'm like, you know, you always go back and you question yourself. Should I stop? Should I? I don't know. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Sell everything. I don't know. Start a new life. The kids are getting older, they need more time and attention. I don't have much time to finish my game anymore. It's a different lifestyle. It's a different lifestyle. I'll tell you that. So that's it. So send some love and support as always. And uh, got some more unboxings. I think I'll do them tomorrow, but I promised a review of Undernaught's Labyrinth of Yomi. It's just such a masterpiece and it's taken all my time, all my free time. And when you start a game, I just want to add, when you start a game, it's two, three hours, two, three hours. You, you can't play 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I get sucked in. 25 hours in. I got to get to 40 to finish it. And we're just around the corner for Fire Emblem and other Warriors and Xeno, Glee, uh, Xeno, Xeno Blade Chronicles 3 in July. So... Big, big games coming out. And I still have to unbox all this, as I promised. We gotta go. I gotta play this. Apparently, this is game of the year. Apparently, it's game of the year. A lot of people have been saying from Vanilla Software. See you soon, guys. Take it easy.